Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, continuing on. Research is progressing on the fighter craft. I just finished research on the Titan armor, which is what I'm going to... It's probably what I'm going to buy next when I have money, but it's going to be quite expensive to outfit every troop. I think it was somewhere on the range of a little bit over 500 credits. 500 magical space monies. To outfit four of my troops with Titan armor, but yeah, that's probably what I'm going to spend the money on next. New fighter craft is commencing. A super satellite nexus is building. I think it's going to support four satellites, which will be very nice. And I think that's it. I don't think anyone's wounded. No. We're good to go. Just gotta wait. <laughs> Flashbangs. Oh, oh. $190. Okay, what would it cost to get four flashbangs? Let's figure it out. It's probably half... I think these rewards typically give you double what you would otherwise get. At least for the corpses. I don't know if that counts for items. Let's check. Whoops. Alright, so four flashbangs. Not facilities. Items. Flashbang, flashbang. Fl oh, crap. I can't build any of it. Oh, right. <laughs> I have no money. Duh. Okay, and they wanted four or five? I don't remember, but yeah, I'm going to get about double. Unfortunately, to get it, I would need to sell a bunch of stuff to get the money initially. And I'm not willing to do that. No, I'm just going to keep waiting. Let's see how long that offer is going to stay around. 480 hours. I don't. How many days is that? I don't know how many days that is. It'll be fine. Actually, we might even have the council report before that goes over, in which case, yeah, we're definitely going to be fine. Oh. Ah. <sighs> More exalt. Lost four, oh, lost three days of research time. Son of a bitch. I'm hunting them down. They can't be in that many places now. Nope. Nope. Where they could stay is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, let's send in... Who was it that I sent in before? I believe it was Gary Warner. There you are. Gary Warner! Mr. Shouty name. Or, sorry, Miss Shouty name. Oh, ever... <sighs> Unfortunately, this are screen doesn't... Are really using our tracking terminal to play Civilization? At least hope you're going for a military victory. <laughs> okay, that one's actually pretty funny. Normally central's annoying, but that one's good. Yeah, unfortunately the soldier list thing does not give you the unequip all the other stuff, so... I need to take someone's suit, so... I'll just take yours, it doesn't really matter. Why, why, can't, why can't I click you? Why can't I click you? Alright, just get, get, get me out of this fucking screen. Screw the screen. There we go. Yeah, they really, they really should have that unequip um, items from your other soldiers for this screen. Oh, not that. For this one. It'd be super, super duper nice. There we go. Grenade or scope? Scope is pointless because you practically can't do any damage, so grenade. Alright, have fun, Gary Warner. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Japan. Hold on. I'm gonna be missing a suit. A nanofiber vest. Which is really, really bad. How much does it cost to buy a new one? Hmm. The thing is, the chitin plating is going to replace this. Which is where? Where is my chitin plating? There it is. The thing is, though, I don't have enough to even afford one chitin plating, so I'm just gonna buy another one. Yeah. It's only 11 bucks. Council report first, council report first, council report first before an abduction. Yes! 
Oh yeah, we are going to be rolling in, I think, around 800 monies. Commander, regrettably, some of our members have decided to withdraw from this council. That leaves us in a difficult position. Okay, so I guess if someone is panicked when the council report comes in, you lose them? I've lost two more. Fuck. Excellent work. <laughs> that, that is not excellent. This council is pleased to see our continued <sighs> support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. I'm seriously confused here. Am I doing something wrong? When it comes to... I mean, I have five people I've now withdrawn from the XCOM project. Why? I mean, I know it's because they panicked, but I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? I've been taking the highest panic missions. The only time I fucked up was with Mexico. When I didn't take that mission. Otherwise, I've taken the highest missions. I've been building a lot of satellites and deploying them. Regardless of the rewards that they give me, I've been deploying them to the most panicked places. Is there something else I can do to reduce panic? We will be in touch, Commander. All right, well, I have shit tons of money. Not as much as I unfortunately was going to get. But still, it's quite a bit. Look at that, look. I could lose this. I could literally lose the entire game if I don't stop this fucking panic. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Maybe I should just start building another satellite nexus right now. Should I just start building another satellite nexus? I'm gonna fucking do it. Oh, I need 50 engineers. I have 41. Damn it. I need more satellites. Apparently I need all the satellites. I need a freaking million. I mean, how do you reduce panic? As far as I know, you can take the abduction missions, which reduces the panic in that in that place. You can do... There's like special missions that come up that I think in general just reduce panic in either regions or just overall. But I haven't been offered that stuff. I've been taking everything I can. Aside from, aside from the missions that you're given, I believe the only way to reduce panic is just... With satellites. So, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. I don't want to spend... I can't even build a normal satellite uplink. Yeah, I just... I can't. I could do a workshop, but even that wouldn't be enough. I don't know. I'm gonna get four satellites. I should probably just hold off. That's probably fine. All right, let's let's buy Titan armor. This is gonna be nice. Oh yes. What else do I want to spend my money on? I'm thinking. Should I get ev everyone Titan armor? I think I should. Yeah, I totally should. Okay. Let's hope I have the materials. Four, four. Good. Oh, it's actually not even 500. Okay. Excellent. This is going to be so good. Unfortunately, I'm poor, again. In fact, I... You know what? I actually shouldn't spend any more money. I need to save my money for the satellites. Yeah. Because I need to actually b build satellites. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. That Titan armor is going to be extremely good. Operative ready. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. As always. Alright, I gotta equip everyone, but I need to decide who I'm gonna take first. Exalt missions are not very difficult, so I don't want to take my best. I do want arrow, because again, my other assault does not have medic skin. Um, I just got a new heavy. Let's take the new heavy. Who's the new heavy? Soul and... Finn. Yumi Hulk Finn. Are, are you gonna... There you are. Uh, what's your level? Right, you're a captain. So unfortunately, you don't have the thing that increases your... 
range of attack yet, but it's okay. You have the Shredder Rocket, which is pretty cool. Honestly, the Shredder Rocket's not going to be very useful this mission, because the Exalt don't have very much health, so increasing the amount of damage they take is not particularly important, but it's fine. I'm going to level you up. Um, Spectre, what is your level? Your Captain, what is Isley? I think you're both the same level. Yeah, you're also a captain. Alright, let's take Isley this time. Just to rotate him out and get them some get them both some experience. Because I've been taking Spectre a lot lately. And I will take Blunda instead of Graves, because Graves is maxed out on levels. So yeah, I've got I've got two relatively low ranked or inexperienced people, Blunda and Finn. I think it's pretty good. I could probably even take more. Eh, there's really no reason to. Nah, it's fine. This is good. Alright. Now let's give him the stuff. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, so they went from plus 8 hit points with the carapace armor to plus 14. Six more hit points. Oh yes. And do I have anything to give you? Oh yeah, the nanofiber vest, of course. <laughs> 9 plus 16 hit points. You have you have 25 hit points. That is amazing. Oh my god. Titan armor looks amazing. Alright, the exalt cannot be captured, so I might as well just give you a scope. Actually, how come I can't see your Titan armor? There's no visual change whatsoever. I guess because the Titan armor covers up your entire body and she has jean mods, so she has the kind of sleeveless look. Maybe that's why? Yeah, let's see if she does it too. Yeah. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of a change on the chest. Yeah, okay, the chest changes a little bit, right? Is that changing? Yeah, it is changing. So there's a small change. Wait a minute, hold on. Something's not right. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait, why do you have the normal sniper? Oh, it's because I only have one. Inspector had it. Right. Heavy laser, normal rocket, vest, and a scope. Okay. Let me make sure everyone's good. Check. Check, check, check. I'm sure you have Titan, you have Titan, you have Titan. Yes, yes, yes. Weapons are good. Stuff is equipped. We're good. Let's blow up some aliens. Oh yeah. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We've picked up an exalt cell operating inside Japan. Strike one will need to move in and assist our operative in securing the new data. Exalt forces disrupted one of our operatives who was in the process of hacking an enemy comm relay in search of new intel. Strike One will need to move in and deal with any hostiles in the area so our operative can finish recovering the data from the remaining arrays. That operative is our only chance at the data. We can't afford to lose them. Okay, look at how many hit points we have. Look at all of these hit points, thanks to this amazing Titan armor. They, they have as many hit points as... as John Cotton Candy Smith and... Most of them have more hit points than my other mech. That is amazing. I'm not sure whether that means my troops are amazingly good or my mechs are just amazingly bad because I kind of need to upgrade their suits. I really do. That's that's very high on the priority list. After satellites, I'm going to be upgrading, upgrading the mech suits, definitely.
Okay. Well, there's no need to rush. Because this is not timed. How can you get down? Right here. Okay. Oh, you can just jump down? Uh, you don't have any gene mods, do you? You don't. I'm pretty sure that would break your legs if you just jumped down there. But, okay. Uh, it's, it's cool. Let's just move you up here for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave her there. You'll be okay, Gary Warner. Just, just stay out of trouble. Trying to remember what abilities my people have. Oh, let's check out the Shredder Rocket. Alright, so how much damage does it do? Alright, so it only does four damage. Compared to six. Still very useful, though. You just have a second rocket, even if the Shredder part of it is not particularly useful when fighting against the Exalt. Still very nice just to have another very large... Basically grenade. I mean, it's like my grenade. That he has. Up to four damage, except with a larger range. Alright, up here would be a good place to put her. But of course, arrow goes first. No one. Actually, should I put her on the roof? If there's no one here... Hmm. They could be inside. The thing is, though, when more Exalt Troops come in, they're probably going to come in from the outside. Yeah, they're definitely going to come in from the outside. They're not going to pop inside of the building. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's head this way. I'm on it, Commander. There's no reason to rush whatsoever. There's no time limit. So I'm just going to move my people. But I'm going to move them behind Arrow. Because I want her to be the first one to go in. So that I can see the enemies before they see me. And I will plop you. Right there. I love that gene mod. Muscle fiber density. Ah, oh, it's so good. Moving to position. Got a nice line here. Line of defense. Hunger down. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Alright. Arrow, give me some intel. I've got to see some here, right? Right? Yep, there we go. You know what? I bet. I bet Isley can shoot them, can't she? Of course. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. Of course, I should probably move my people into better cover. Let's go ahead and do that. Time to motor. Time to motor. That's a very strange saying. Alright, this is probably overkill, but I do want my people in position before I encounter them. Alright, you could hack it, but then you couldn't get back up, so just stay there. And can I move you higher? No, you can't get on that roof. Alright, move up here. Actually, no, I'll move you here. Well, no, actually, if any exalt pop up over here, she wouldn't be able to shoot them necessarily, so I'll move her here. No 
Next turn, they're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> have they been alerted? They're taking cover as if they've been alerted, but I can't see how they possibly could have seen us. No, I don't think they did. I think they just accidentally took cover, sort of. Okay. Can I love a grenade just, like, right into their center? Nope. I could move them up and then do it. Let's open with a very strong opening statement. Should I headshot? Nah, I'll save a headshot for an important time. What the hell just happened? Oh, that was weird. That was very strange. It didn't even look like it hit. I could just overwatch the hell out of them. Hmm. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, I mean, I could just keep sniping them. And they can't shoot from there. And I have a perfect line here, so as soon as one comes into view of any of my people, I think all of them will be able to shoot. Let's just overwatch. Oh yeah, you. Um... Uh, just stay there. Your moves, Exalt. Are they retreating? Yes, no, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? They just, like, teleported back into existence. Are you seriously taking cover? Is this Exalt seriously taking cover at a place where everybody can get a flanking shot on him and provides him no cover against the people that are actually going to shoot him? I don't even understand. Right. Well, you already hurt, so let's kill you. Man, she is not critting. It's okay, though. It's fine. All right, let's um, let's move the line up. don't like it. I'm gonna move you here. Yes, she probably won't get flanked. Probably. Just gonna keep sniping him. What was that sound? You mean you heard enemies from where I've seen all the enemies before? No way! They're taking their time. Alright, we need to move up. They're not doing anything. Alright. Alright, where are they? They've moved back out into the open. That's not very intelligent. And of course you could wreck all of their days. Alright, can I get close enough to just, like, toss a grenade into them? Because I'm kind of sick of them existing. Heading to that location. Hmm. 
right. Let's just do that. Let's get this party started. Something tells me they don't like the party. Why does that why was that one invincible? That's weird. He didn't show up in the little thing that indicates who you're gonna hit, which I thought was just a bug, but no, he actually didn't get hurt. Even though the grenade exploded at his feet. That makes no sense. Move you up here a bit. And Overwatch. Ah. There's just no cover out here. Very frustrating. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Isley. Why don't you kill? That one looks like it has an RPG. If it t decides to use it, it could ruin my day, so why don't you kill that one? Goodbye. <laughs> they're just sitting there healing. Right, they're- oh, wow. Okay, you wanna play, huh? You wanna play. This is what happens when I play. I shoot you in the face with a railgun. They like to heal. Okay. Well, you can shoot twice. So I can pretty much just kill you. Let's just do that. You're dead. Then, I could blow up, actually if I blow up your cover it's probably going to kill you, depending on how much damage the car blowing up does, and I'm not exactly sure how much. Let's find out, shall we? Targeting defensive position. It does six points of damage. Excellent. Achievement unlocked. Regenerate this. <laughs> Indeed. Good luck regenerating your being exploded into a dozen parts. I'm pretty sure a little mist can't help with that. All right, I need to heal you. I'm on the move. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. I really don't know. I don't know how a restorative mist heals something. Somebody made of mostly metal. I don't really get how that works, but I'm not going to complain. All right. We're not going to be hacking anything over here. Where's the other one? We're going to hack this one, and there's one inside. So I'm going to get Isley on this roof, because they're, the Exalt are going to be encroaching upon this position, not this one. So I'm going to move you up. I didn't mean to move you into the open, but you'll be fine. There's probably some exalt back there, I'm guessing. It's a pretty safe bet. In fact, let's check. No, apparently not. I guess I'll just move you down here. Let's get this party started. We're close to recovering another piece of the intel. Our operative just has to activate that comm relay, Commander. Good. 
We've decrypted some of the Exalt data, and it looks like their communications were disrupted by our hack. We should keep looking for the remaining relays. Oh, I have no idea where they are. Do you have any intel, okay. Central? I just don't know where they are. I have no idea where it could possibly be. No idea whatsoever. I don't really know where the exalt's gonna come from. So I'm not really sure where I should put her. Soul, where do I. No, not, not Soul, you're Finn. Where do I put Finn? Nah, eh, I'll leave you there. You're fine. Oh, hi. Oh, are you gonna. Are you gonna clump together? I do encourage you to clump together. Finn? Finn? Aww. It's okay. It's practice. You'll get better. I so love it when they clump together. I could even blow up the car and do like six points of damage to them. Which would be just, just delightful. Alright, can I throw a rocket into them? No, I can't. I'm nowhere near. In fact, I really need to reload you. So, let's do that. On my way. Move you closer and reload. could just use the Shredder Rocket for fun. Well, I'll just move you over here. Target confirmed. On our way. Move my people into position for next turn. Move you up here. Okay. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't necessarily do six damage. Looks like it does maybe up to six. Let's just have fun with the Shredder Rocket. Let's blow up any potential for cover outside of... in this area. Goodbye, all cover. Going hot. If any more decide to encroach from that position, they're not gonna have a good time. Is that really all the Exalt on, in this mission? Doesn't seem right. I mean, more are obviously going to come in, but are there any more that were already existing on the map? I don't know. Let's just leave her there. Okay, they're coming from there. They do have the incredible habit, the incredibly unwise habit, of clumping together. Next to a person who can shoot rockets and flamethrower them. In fact, I could even flamethrower them. Well, actually, I don't think it would reach both. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe it extends one more. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. It might hit the one in the back if it extends more to the front of the cone, not just to the side. I know it bleeds over the sides, but I'm not sure if it extends out the front. On the other hand, I could just blow them up. On the other hand, I could just shoot them. Okay, well I can deal with them very easily. The question is, we've hacked all the comm relays in this area, Commander. 
The data is fully decrypted. We need to move the operative to the evac point for extraction. The question is, updated. who do I give the experience to? So Blunda and Finn, you could both use the experience very much. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Yes, there we go. A little bit of experience there. They're starting to lose ground. And let's give you some as well. I'm assuming that your soldiers can receive promotions for doing damage, not just necessarily killing enemies. It'd be pretty silly if they had to kill the enemies to get any experience. Let's move you here. to reload him. Or I could just kill you. But maybe I don't need to. Let's find out. Select, select, there, no. Uh. Let's try that again. There we go. That's much better. Good job, John Cotton Getty Smith. Major Smith has earned a promotion. Excellent. I thought he was max level, actually. Apparently he's not. Wait, who do I use to kill you now? Oh, I guess I need to use you. Shit. I hope this hits. Because apparently she does not have a shot, unfortunately. Hmm. I thought she would have. Fact. I'm going to move her here. Because we're going to be moving towards the evac zone, so I want to cover it. I'm not going to leave prematurely. I do want to get as much XP from these people as possible. But I do want to get around it. Right. Here we go. Oh, you're dead. Huh, I, even, I even saw a car in the background. Apparently there's traffic around here. I wonder if any of them have stopped to record the footage of people with gene mods and gigantic mechs tromping through this place and blowing up everything. Hmm. That's only half cover. It really looks like full cover to me. Eh, just go there. You're probably going to get flanked, but it's fine. You'll be fine. You're Gary Warner. Your name is in all caps. No one can touch anyone whose name is in all caps. It's a fact. I think I'm hearing banjo music. Yeah, I think it was coming from one of the buildings over there. Where did that come from? I can faintly hear banjo music playing from the shop. <laughs> okay. I am glad I moved you there. Alright, once again, don't need to worry, just give the XP to the people that need it most. Get you close to the action. Then move you up. On the move. 
into full cover, where you can actually shoot someone. Or not, never mind. You actually can't shoot anyone. I was just kidding. Let's do this. Let's get you into safety. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get a shot this turn. Definitely not. Who can actually shoot? You can. You can't because you have no ammo. So you're useless. For now. Let's move you up and reload you. So what am I left with? I could blow up one of the cover and shoot them. But the only person who would actually benefit from the ability to shoot someone who's not in cover anymore is someone who doesn't even need really their cover removed because she's such a damn good shot. Let's just kill this one. Goodbye. I could shoot at it twice. Yeah, what the hell. Looks like it paid off. Sweet, I can even reload. Your move, Exalt. Where are you gonna pop up? For a second, I thought one of the Exalt was gonna pop up on top of the car that was about to explode. Apparently not. Maybe we should just leave? Nah, let's put you up here. Ah, cruelly, very, very cruelly, there is no full cover. I will move her here instead. Alright, just gonna move people up and put them in Overwatch. Pretty straightforward. us and in front of us all right once again Blunda and Finn are going to get first dibs in fact why don't the mechs soften them up for them for Finn and Blunda. They'll be in no cover and they'll be almost dead, which means there's a very good chance they're going to get a kill. Excellent. <laughs> I guess he's reporting what just happened to him. That's their, that's their mayday. That's their cry for help. That's their I need assistance is... Alright, Finn, you have two shots because you have Bullet Swarm. Actually, hold on, who does the... Who does Finn have a shot on? 
Oh, you have the same percent chance to hit both, so... It doesn't matter which one I hit. Let's try that again. There we go. Promotion? 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 No promotion. Promotion? Uh, also no promotion. What do I have selected? Right. Um, let's just move up. Yeah, let's get let's get in position to get evac next turn. Running. Can you make it? No, you can't. So I'm gonna move you up. There's that banjo music for a second. Right, can everyone get to it? You can. You can. And you can't. On the move. You can make it. Position confirmed. Okay. If any exalt decide to pop up, they're going to be killed by a barrage of Overwatch, and if they don't, then we're getting evac next turn. Oh, hi! Yes, please stay together. I encourage you. Good job. Good job. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> there goes all of the cover in the entire building. Okay, it might be an exaggeration, but it was pretty cool. Maybe I should just blow him up. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> bringing the pain. Yeah, you said it, Finn. And lob a grenade in there for good measure. Nah, it's a waste. It's only gonna hit one. Hold on, I want to get the one in the back. So to do that... I need to be able to see it. There we go. I see you back there. Don't think you're safe. You're not. I love those slow motion kills. They look so cool. And just because I can. Just... Because I can. That is the only reason I need to do this. Because it's been too long since I've done this. Engaged. Actually, I think we only need the operative to get to the evac zone. Okay, the exalt term is apparently uh, 100 milliseconds. That's affirmative. Commander. Yeah, okay. Secure the operative and the new data they <laughs> That's all I needed to do. I didn't even need my troops there. It's okay, though. We got some extra XP. I believe we got one promotion. At least one promotion. Mr. S uh, Cotton Candy Smith. Everything by the numbers, oh. and not a scratch on them. Hopefully every operation goes this well. Low, co uh, low profile. Makes partial cover count as full. Excellent. Okay. So...
I'm thinking Absorption Field is probably best. Because once again, just like it did for... For my other mech, this is going to prevent them from being killed by some massive crit. I mean this. The first enemy who attacks the mech each turn. May I mean, it could be good. It would prevent them from taking damage. Because I'm assuming... Well, it could prevent them from taking damage. Because I'm assuming that would activate before the, they actually got the shot off. Before the enemy was able to shoot you. I'm assuming. So if it killed them, it would prevent damage. Now I'm going to go with Absorption Fields. I just like the... It's kind of like insurance against... Your mech totally just being destroyed due to bad luck. Because it means chances are you're going to have time to get your mech out of there into safety. Whereas if some sort of a massive plasma laser beam got like a crit on him, it could do 15 points of damage or something. It, it could turn out very poorly. So that it's kind of like hazard insurance. Or something. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. Hmm. What's it narrowed to? What did I get? I'm not sure which one I just got. Not in the UK? Was that the one I got? I don't know. There's still a ways to go, though. And I'm going to save my money for satellites, which I'm going to be able to build in four days. So let's just keep waiting. Yeah, let's just keep waiting. New fighter craft, sweet. Firestorm. Firestorm is our highly advanced combat aircraft, incorporating numerous advances gained from studying the technology found in the alien ships. Power and navigational systems in particular were adapted directly from the alien designs. Hm. Archangel armor. EMP cannon, that's gotta be a new weapon. For the aircraft. Yep, for the interceptors. Hmm. Maybe I should start doing plasma guns? Okay, the Archangel thing, that's the one that gives you the ability to use jetpacks. Permits sustained flight on the battlefield. I don't care about that. I'm never going to use that. So, I'm going to start going for plasma stuff. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And I'm not going to buy them, but I want to know how much the new aircraft cost. Oh my god, 148. Holy shit. Well, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Satellite Nexus, Satellite Nexus, Satellite Nexus. Yes. Got 50 space bucks back. Okay, well, unfortunately, we don't quite have enough to build four satellites. How long is it until my next council report? 27 days. Okay, so I have enough time to get all the satellites. Which is good. Very good. Actually, no, no, I can build all the satellites. I'm thinking back to the, f like the, first, the first time I was playing XCOM, where they cost 100. But no, they don't cost 100 anymore because of all my workshops. And all of my engineers. Um... There we go. Yeah, they only cost 56. Wait a minute. I can build five? Wait, what? I thought I could only build four. There's no adjacency bonus. Did I lose a satellite? Yeah, there's, there's no adjacency bonus. It only gives you the ability to have four. I must have lost a satellite. I don't know. If it says I can build it, I will build it. Five satellites coming in 20 days. Sweet. You know what I'm wondering? Because it appears that the places will only, countries and locations will only leave you, in general at least, at the council report. So it appears if they're panicked, when the council report happens, they'll leave. 
Does that mean you should save your satellites until the very end? So you can strategically use them to keep people from panicking and leaving? Like, say, like save all the satellites right before the council report and then just use them on the ones that are red? So they don't leave? I guess you could do that. It seems to make sense. I mean, you're not going to get the money from them from the satellites until the council report anyway, so... But then again, it takes time for them to be put into orbit or whatever. It does take time for them to be deployed. Hmm. Anyway. UFO power sources. Four scientists for three. But I only have three. Hmm. I would like this one. I would like it. Alright. What are the UFO power sources used for? I'm guessing it's probably for aircraft? Mm-hmm. It's for the aircraft. Which I'm not going to be using anytime soon. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. They can have it. Now, what about the flashbangs? It's going to double my money, but I had to... I'm going to lose... Stuff on them. What am I going to lose? Oh, no. No, they don't take any supplies whatsoever. They just take money. Okay, how many do they need? Four? Four. Yeah, I mean, that's totally worth it. It's literally just money for more money. You lose nothing. At all. I really would like to try, try these grenades out. Because I just... I haven't been using grenades whatsoever. I'd really like to see how effective they are. But I just... They don't seem good to take over something like a nanofiber vest or a scope. It just doesn't seem worth it. Alright, 194. What could I spend that on? Let's we'll see, I want to upgrade my mechs. Actually, hold on, you know what? I could upgrade their general stuff. Um... The Foundry. Just upgrade their mobility and stuff like that once I get to 300. But, I just... I could do this as well. I could just upgrade their suits. Hold on. Okay, I could upgrade you to a Mech 3, but I really need to upgrade him. Yeah, M really needs to be upgraded. It's gonna cost 60 meld. Oh, it costs 100 meld to get to Mech 3. Holy crap, what does that get you? Proximity Mine Launcher. Oh, right. They waits for enemy movement and then triggers. Electropulse. Can stun organic enemies and damage robotic ones with this area of effect electric shock device. Electropulse sounds awesome. It sounds really awesome. But I don't want to leave Tyrone in the dirt or in the dust. So let's do him first. I'm going to do Tyrone. And that's not a euphemism. Okay. I would like more grenades. Heal all nearby allies. Eh. I really don't need to heal that often. No. To be honest, I really prefer to focus on offense over defense. For the most part. Because if you can do enough damage, you can take out the enemies before they can even hurt you. So I'd rather focus on that. The grenade launcher would be extremely valuable, so let's go for that. And I believe that also probably upgrades his health as well. By upgrading him to a newer mech. It doesn't just give him abilities, but it also just gives him a, a stronger suit, I think. I hope. I know John Smith has more health, or did have more health than Tyrone M, so I'm assuming that's why. I think that's pretty much all I can do. 
I could spend... No, I'm not going to spend. I'm going to save. Oh my god, more fucking Exalt. They're such a pain in the ass. Drain $50. In France. Or, they're in France. Okay, well, let's do the covert operation. And once again, Gary Warner. Oh, I need to upgrade you. Converse bonus, bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Which is going to be none. Because I can't give you armor. Alright. You're good. Oops. Ah. You're good to go. XCOM operative deployed against Men have fought for gods and kings alike. But now we fight for the very survival of our species. Gary Warner is a very busy person. She just goes <laughs> from one covert operation to the next. Covert operation, gets home, gets to sleep for the night, wakes up, and then hey, another covert operation. Have fun. Ooh, am I going to get a light plasma rifle? I am. In addition to manufacturing our own light plasma rifles, our soldiers should now be able to use any that they recover from the battlefield. Ooh. Light plasma rifle available for manufacture. This lightweight rifle functions on the same principle as our other plasma weapon concepts. A jet of ionized gas, mm-hmm. Okay, now we can start getting the other proper weapons. Cannon. What is this? Oh, that's for our interceptors. Ooh. Ooh. See, I could go for weapons like this, but this EMP cannon looks like it would allow you to... Disable the electronic systems of the UFOs, which allow you to recover them without destroying them. I'm not even sure what that would do, but it sounds better than blowing it up. But anyway, let's go for the plasma rifle. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, light plasma rifle. It's probably shitty. Since there is a proper plasma rifle, so I'm guessing this one is just, just inferior. Yeah, it's just a lower damage variant of the plasma rifle. So, let's see. Medium 4, 6, 10, 8, 10. 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 What the fuck is it? Laser? Laser? Laser rifle. Medium 4, 6, 10, 8. It's the same as a laser rifle. Although it does, it does say that it has a plus 10 aim bonus, but as good as that is, I'm going to get laser rifle, uh, plasma rifles in 8 days, so I think I'm just going to save the money. Here we go. Two exalt missions in one episode. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. I'm just going to take the same people. Everybody should be outfitted. Finn, mm-hmm. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Alright, which variant of the Exalt mission is this going to be? Our latest sweep indicates an Exalt cell. Okay, it's the one that's uh, time limited. A little bit trickier. To provide an escort. Our operative can complete the operation. I want to just destroy these exalts so bad so they stop annoying me. They're such a pain in the ass. They're so obnoxious. Bloody exalt. Our operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objective updated. Alright, where are those things I can hack to buy me some time? Where are you? I don't so there's one. 
Alright. Let's move my scout up first, as always. Is there no... F oh, there's no full cover. Alright, I'll move you up here then. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Who did you just see? Oh. Why didn't they trigger? You can see them, but they didn't trigger? Strange. Just moving my people into position. All of this is crappy half cover. Moving out. Oh, you even have a shot. Oh my god, of course you do. Alright, I could put her up here. Which is probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Because we're going to be hacking a lot of these things outside, and of course the Exalt are going to be coming from out here. Or dropping onto the roofs. Either way, she should be able to see them. They're not going to be coming from inside. So for now... I'm going to move you here, and then I'm going to move you to the roof next turn. If our operative can get close enough to one of those exalt communications relays deployed throughout the area, they may be able to access the system and disable exalt communications using the recovered data's encryption keys. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you just say? I have no idea what you just said. But I'm entirely certain it's not important. I could maybe toss a grenade. Toss a grenade into there and ruin their day. But Gary Warner is a bit squishy, so I should probably move her into safety. In fact, I'll move her here. Time to motor. Time to motor, indeed. Understood. Moving out. <laughs> that Titan armor looks so amazing. They think six of them at the same time are going to be able to actually hurt us. No? Someone is attempting to access the encoder, Commander. We can't oh my god, did they? Aww. I thought they were going to be, like, touching each other. That's not a euphemism. I mean, oh god, I... Oh, so many AoE abilities here, but unfortunately I need to protect this damn thing. But, I can't blow it up, but I can blow everything else up. Oh yes I can. Hold on, might as well. Grab this thing. Heading out. You disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. <laughs> Look at all of those enemies. Okay, AoE's first. So, I... Uh, hmm. I can get three safely. So many different combinations. I can get these three safely, or these three. Actually, no, that's going to blow up our cover if I shoot here. So... Please don't miss. Boom. Boom. Good boom. Not bad boom. Good boom. Actually, no, I think that missed. But it's okay, at least it missed in the way that didn't ruin the mission. So, I'm okay with that. Now. Oh, look, it just hits all three. How perfect. How perfect is that? Is 
Okay. <laughs> I love these AoE attacks. Hmm. Maybe an AoE, an AoE attack would not be the best thing for you. Who can you shoot? You can shoot twice. The thing is, those aren't amazing chances to hit. No, I'm gonna do it. Let's fuck up their cover. And kill one in the process. Oh, or not. Up to four damage. Not exactly four damage. Fair enough. Now who's left? Alright, three people. Three people with which to kill four. Uh, they're not all gonna die. Unless I have another AoE. I don't have any AoEs left, do I? No, I don't. Alright, just kill the easiest. You're guaranteed death, so goodbye. Ninety-two, ninety-two. Hold on, let me check my sniper. A hundred. And a hundred. Alright. Let's just go for the one that has less health. So there's a greater chance of you killing them. And you're dead. Hoorah! Hoorah. Does that one have a rocket launcher? Is it aiming a rocket launcher at my face? No. Nope. In fact, neither of them seem to have a rocket launcher. So, okay, I'm just going to headshot the one with the most health. Wow. Okay, that didn't work out. Normally that does a shit ton of damage, but I guess it didn't crit. It's fine. We're fine. Commander, scans indicate additional contacts approaching Strike One's position. Okay, so I think maybe the fact that I hack I hacked this relay thing may have stopped them from being able to shoot me or something because it seems like they should have shot me otherwise. Right. Um Can I just kill them both? No, it's not going to kill them both. In fact, I won't even kill one of them. So, that's a bad idea. Let's move up. ET in, sight. ET in sight? I'm pretty sure the Exalt aren't ET. Alright, who has a shot at what? 60, 60, 80. Alright, you have a good shot at him. Uh, just take the shot. And you can only hit this one, so might as well go for it. Okay, that's fine. Let's move you up into punching position for next turn. Oh crap, I'm not qu oh, I'm not quite in a flanked position for him, am I? No, I'm a little bit too far to the right. Oh, well, it's fine. Let's just get you moving. Already there. Of course, she can hit both. Hmm. That's basically guaranteed not to kill him. Whereas that's most likely going to kill him. Alright. Cleared. Who's left? Three people. Moving. 
me now. <laughs> okay, I guess it's down to arrow. Or is it? Maybe not. Uh, where can I really put her? I don't want a running gun for one enemy. That's on low health. I guess I'll move her here. She can't really get into a good flanking position that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, I'll take it. There's a greater chance of killing him with rapid fire than this. 235s is better than 150. But it still didn't work. More. There are a lot of you, isn't there? Or aren't there, I guess is a grammatically correct way to say that. Alright, shooting a rocket would be overkill, not to mention kind of dangerous, just in case it misses, as it seems to often do lately. Well, killing them is no problem. I could almost punch you, and you too, but I can't quite do it. Let's just destroy you. Did you just miss it? Wasn't that a 95% chance to hit? Ah. Alright, move you up. Nice! Good job. That deserves a, deserves a promotion, I think. Alright, I want to move you up, but... Nah, you got more shots down here. Good job. I would like to overwatch, but I want to reload. from. Let's move you here. Let's get you into mimeticness. Hostile contacts closing on strike one's position, commander. That is a bad place to come in, my friend. And you just found out why. And he runs into no cover at all. Well, they're really surrounding this place. Not that it's going to do any good, of course. Oh no. Oh no. Right. I want to, re I want to reload you, so... Who needs the experience? You kind of do, Blunda. He's... About to start keeping score. <laughs> he must have gotten a promotion at, at some point, right? I mean, he's killed at least two people. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't seem to always tell you when you do get a promotion. It's kind of strange. It's inconsistent. Ah, <sighs> can't quite reach it. Running. All right, next turn I'll get it. Okay, now is my chance... Actually, I probably still shouldn't put her up here. Because at the moment they're going to be coming through the buildings. So she actually has the best chance to shoot. When she's down and can shoot through the windows. 
Let's put her here. A little more of a central position and still in full cover. blown up most of the cover around here. Although I could take cover behind this little piece of rubble. Ooh, look at the pretty fountain. Beautiful, kind of. Actually, it looks kind of weird. Yeah. Don't think XCOM is exactly known for its great water effects. You're fine. I could put you on Overwatch. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Everything just blows up. Ooh, another reaction shot. Cotton Candy Smith. Aw. Who else needs experience? Finn, you could also use some experience, so let's get you some. I am going to put you behind this tiny little pathetic piece of cover. Nice. I could punch you. But I won't. <laughs> I need to open this door to be able to shoot him. Here we go. <laughs> there he is. Peekaboo. Ooh, that was actually a really disgusting and disturbing death there. Go. It'll take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. All right, there's two more. Okay. Ten four. I'm gonna move you up. Right here. You have... What is it called? You have low profile, so this will be full cover to you. Yep. Moving out. So she should be able to see inside of here. So if any of them come down shooting gallery alley here, they're going to get shredded. I believe there's one more. It looks like this is the last of the hostile... Oh, here we go. Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Two reaction shots. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Anyone else? Any other reaction shots? Nope. I don't even need to bother with hacking these things. I can just kill them all. Yep, they're, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Did his co his cover just blew up, didn't it? It did. <sighs> right. Apparently, you're getting flanked from everywhere. Oh yeah, there's you. And you. A 
Let's just kill you. Oh man, one hit point. One hit point. Wait a minute, isn't it going to blow up next turn? No, I think it takes two turns. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well you can shoot twice, so... Uh, here's what we're going to do. Or, never mind, that totally ruined my plan. Unless... I'm not sure if this will actually blow up the card this turn. We're about to find out, because I want to see if this works. It does not. That's weird. So their, their collateral damage ability will blow up the car in the turn that you shoot it. But a grenade does not. Huh. You learn something new every day. I don't want to move you here, because you should be able to get a flanking shot. But then you're out of range to do anything with these people over here next turn. Who else could take the shot? No one. Alright, I need to kill you, so I'm going to do this. That's... Oh, I guess since she has line of sight to him, she won't move over one tile, so she won't get a flanking shot. That's unfortunate. But it worked anyway. He's down. Okay. Three people with which to deal with two that I can see, but I know there's more. Right, you need to be in cover. Obviously. Very good chance to hit. I kind of want to just blow up your cover. And then I... No, that's not going to work get a flanking position on him. Alright. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Blow up his cover and do a bit of damage. Then I'm going to kill you. Get blunt to some experience here. I'm actually kind of lucky that it actually killed him. There's a pretty good chance it wouldn't have. And then I'm going to run and gun you. Move you here. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Oh shit. That's not good. Well, I can't move you, so... Why, oh, you actually have an 86% chance to hit him in full cover? Damn. Alright, well, here we go. Second one, second one, second one! Ah, uh, nice. And just to fuck with your head. I want to lob a grenade. Can I do it safely? Not really. Actually, yes I can. Okay. I don't believe you can see me from here, right? 
Never mind, he can. Whatever, I'm gonna do it for fun anyway. Gotta use these grenades. Come on, Gary Warner. It's psychological warfare. See? He ran away, because he's scared. You really think you're gonna be able to hack that? Really? These exalt, man. These exalt. I like how it went back to the car that first blew up. As if something was gonna happen. There was so much tension. It's like, <gasps> but it already blew up. What could possibly happen to it? And the answer is nothing. Right. Who do I give the experience to? Let's give it to Finn. Mission complete, I think. Not? I thought that was the... F oh, there's... Oh, there's gotta be one left. Yeah, wasn't there one over here? Like a sniper or something? Hmm. Yeah, just put you on Overwatch. Just put everyone on Overwatch. Not enough ammo to overwatch. Let's move you up. I guess... Sprint you out into the open? You can certainly tank the shots. No doubt about that. Oh, there you are. Ooh, if I hadn't have already overwatched with Isley, I could have shot him. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Rolling. Now, who could he potentially shoot at? Not really anyone. I'm just gonna overwatch. Move you into safety. You're fine. You don't need to hack anything. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to get to the evac zone because there isn't one, so. Oh, you fool. You fool. You triggered my sniper's overwatch. I'm pretty sure he's about to trigger two more. Or one more. Everybody's getting a shot. Alright, I'm sure there's more. Let's see these overwatches. Come on, who's gonna hit? Who's gonna get the killing shot? The killing blow. Here's another one. I saw someone bust down a door. Oh, Blenda? Nope. Anyone else? Actually, it might have been all of my overwatches. It was. Okay. Hmm. It would be incredibly satisfying to just punch him to death, but once again, I want to give the experience to someone. We could use it. So, let's give it to you. There now. Excellent work out there, Commander. Exalt's forces in the area have been eliminated and the transmitter is secure. Another successful Exalt mission. Frankly, I think there's too many Exalt missions. They're kind of getting tedious at this point. They just keep happening so much. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. All limited use items in your inventory receive one extra use. Cool. Oh, I thought I would have gotten more promotions than that. Alright, got a bunch of stuff. Got a little bit more money. Alright, what do we narrow it down to? I'm not even sure which one's new now, but it can only be in one, two, th one, two, three, four, five places. It's getting down to the wire here. Almost. Alright, well, 
I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon where hopefully I will encounter some missions that are not Exalt missions. Because I've had way too many of those. <laughs>